Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. Even greased his partner to make it look good. You got dubs, I'll take the chance. All right then, that's that. Solve it. You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. Well, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran every day. Anyway, we getting them onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her, tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone, dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus. Guys at the Reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. The time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck, that's some heat right there. <laughs> God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be covered up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> Alright, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. We've been renting now. Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. Told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a. Jesus Christ, it's a fucking robbery! I'll go for help. Need to get behind something. Since we got your telegram about coming home, we've been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. This ain't no man. Shut the fuck out. Anyhow, like I was saying, and he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Are you blind or something? Anyway, and he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Damn, you're scratching the paint. Lincoln, pick up the keys. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. Even greased his heart to make it look good. <laughs> All right then, that's that. God damn. We should get going. Like you said, 
I'll take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over at Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, we're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. So, are you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes to eight. At least with oil. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be covered up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> Take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. Jesus Christ, it's a fucking robbery! I'll go for What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. It'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say show. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line that says they're moving. Keys in another room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. Him and Grease's partner to make it look good. But if you got doubts, why well, take a chance? Mm. All right then, that's that. Goddamn. <laughs> we should get going. You got the old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, you're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no You know what she says, dude? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some... Goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better be. Cops are gonna notice us if you're running people over. Ah! Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. The only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> You take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want to.
car, bash it up all you want. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say, show. Sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. And I, damn, you're scratching the paint. Anyhow, like I was saying, anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into hell and that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy would. This ain't no nah, man. Chill the fuck out. <sighs> like a... Like I was saying, can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar.